The Toronto condo market has officially entered a buyer's market. Now, that's not something I have said in a long time. And specifically, what we're going to talk about today is the downtown core of the Toronto market, how quickly it's changed and everything you would need to know as a potential buyer or seller in today's market. My name is Tom Story, and I appreciate you being back here on the channel. If you watch today's video and you learn anything new at all, all I ask is you hit that like button and subscribe to our growing community. You can also go into the first link in the description at the end of this video and book a call with me at a time that works for you. Not to be dramatic, but I would say maybe this is the most important video I've posted on YouTube this year because this is the first time that the numbers have actually shown me that the market is shifting in a different direction. I actually go out of my way not to watch other real estate content on YouTube because I want to form my own opinions based on the conversations I'm having and what the data is telling me. I don't want to just regurgitate to you what someone else has already talked about. And I also will not make videos trying to incite fear or tell you things are crashing when they're not. Sometimes I play around with the thumbnails and, and titles because this is the way YouTube works, but really it's to debunk them. But on today's video, listen, the condo market has now turned to a buyer's market. That's not something I've said in a long time. The last time we had inventory close to this level was October 2020. But you have to go back four, five, six years before that to catch up to where we are today. I want to show you what's happened and how it will impact you. And as you're watching this video, if you have anything you want to add into the comments on your experience on the buying or selling side recently, let me know what's going on. Okay, so we're going to jump into the presentation here today, and I want to start with showing you inventory levels. Now, this is a chart that I put together on my own, and this first chart, we're just focusing on CO1, okay? I've talked about this a lot in my channel. Basically, this is downtown Toronto. It is west of Young Street to Dufferin. It is north to Bloor, and it is south to the water. There is a ton. This is the best cluster of condos that we can use to make a sense of what is happening in the market. And here's what inventory has done in CO1 throughout 2023, okay? So we started the year at over four months of inventory, which put us in a balanced out market. We also had a 25-point rate hike at the beginning of this year. Then in February, the inventory levels came down around three months of inventory, getting into seller's market territory. And in the bottom left there, you can see a buyer's market is over six months of inventory. A balanced market is typically from four to six months and a seller's market is under three months of inventory. Now, three months of inventory around this line right here in February, that's like a pretty typical healthy seller's market. Yes, you see prices go up a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. When we dropped off below two months of inventory in March and April and May, that's a pretty hot seller's market. And that's when you saw offer dates kind of come back. A lot of properties sell over the asking price. But then you can see the inventory jumped up two months in a row during the rate hikes that we saw in the summer. And this is just for condo apartments and just for downtown CO1, okay? And then in August, we had about four months of inventory. So the condos were kind of moving into a balanced market territory. And then the September numbers came out, okay? And this was actually a little bit shocking to me uh, because seeing this much of a jump in one month, it could have meant, okay, there was just more properties that didn't sell, so it's rollover listings. But that wasn't just the case. I looked at the numbers. This was new listings as well. So for the first time in a long time, I can officially say the downtown Toronto condo market is in buyer's market territory. And that is because right now we have 7.2 months of inventory. What does that mean to a potential seller or a potential buyer? That means that one of every seven properties is going to find a buyer in the first 30 days it's on the market. That is the months of inventory. That is the absorption rate of that property type. Okay, what that really means at the end of the day is around 15% of new listings are selling every single month. 85% are not selling in the first 30 days, and then 15% every month is going to be absorbed from the market. What will be interesting for me to see is that if the inventory stays the way it is right now for the rest of this year, you will see downward pressure on prices. That's just a fact. I don't think the condo market's going to crash, but you are going to see prices drop off a little bit if it doesn't change. What will also be interesting is that when we get to December how many properties that are on the market that aren't selling are going to be taken off the market? We'll have to see how long this level of inventory actually lasts. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. I got way more information to show you in today's video. The next thing I want to kind of talk about here quickly, we put together a condo buyer's guide. 
I spent a long time prepping this. You can download it for free in the first link in the description just below where you can book an appointment with our team. This gives you everything you would need to know. Good market, bad market, all the tips, because there's some people that I've been talking to right now that still, even though the market's changing, they still want to buy because they're renting and they're like, you know what, it's time or there's something going on in their life where they do have to enter the market. This will walk you through everything you need to know. It is 100% free. Let's get back to the subject of this video. In C01 and C08, which you can see on my screen here, this is downtown Toronto, okay? This is basically all of downtown Toronto. As of me recording this video today, I'm recording this on October the 10th, okay? Just to put clarification on that. There's 2,179 condos for sale in downtown Toronto. And I took away the parking spots. I started the search at $75,000. So the parking spots would not exist. So over 2,000 options. But then how do the options break down from there? And this is where it gets interesting. And this is where you're going to start seeing headlines formulate once the mainstream media gets access to this type of data. Because I'm not sure, truthfully, if anyone's really talked about this yet. Of the properties currently on the market, 874 of them are vacant. 720 of them are tenanted. 548 are owner occupied. And then owner slash tenant is a category you can choose on MLS. Like I guess if you're like renting out a room, that's 14. And then partial, kind of the same thing, is 23. But but those numbers are like less than 1%, right? Now, if you take tenanted properties, that's obviously what we've talked about before. That's investors selling their properties because they have a variable rate and they don't like the current payments or their fixed rate is coming up and they're like, you know what? Maybe my building's under rent control. The tenant's a good person, but like, it just doesn't make sense anymore. I'm going to sell this asset. They don't have the long-term thinking or maybe they just can't afford it, right? And some of these people are probably in situations where they do need to sell these properties. If you added up the tenanted and the vacant properties, 40% plus 33%, this is the headline, right? That no one's talking about yet. 73% of downtown Toronto condos are investors trying to liquidate. Now, not all vacant properties are investors. I can tell you this from experience. Sometimes we have someone that moves into a new property and they move out of their condo before they sell it. So it says vacant, but they were living there. But even, even if that vacant number is 30%, that's still over 60% of active listings are tenanted or vacant. What else this is showing me is that there is going to be 720 tenants that if their property sells, they're going to have to find a new rental. We've talked about this in other videos, but right now you're not really seeing investors buying resale condos. You're seeing end users buy them. So it's taking a tenant who potentially has a decent rent. They now have to find a new place because it's not a ton of investors are going to buy them and assume them. The buyer that maybe was renting, so that would be one for one based on the rental, but if they were living at home or they already owned a property and they're moving up, that's now taking rental inventory off the market. Anyways, all I'm saying here is that there's a lot of people trying to sell condos and a good portion of them are people that are landlords or have a vacant property for whatever reason. And only 25% of active listings are actually an owner living there saying, okay, I want to sell my property. Now, there's been reports for a long time in Ontario, 41%, I believe, of all condos are owned by investors. This isn't new data. Toronto, the number is probably a little bit higher. But let's dig a little bit deeper. So I also thought to myself, well, maybe the numbers just look not great because it's rare that a condo is just firming up right away these days. Typically, three to five days for status review and financing. But of all the properties I showed you, if we go back, to the 2,179 condos for sale, as of me recording this video, 3.2% of them were sold conditional. So they agreed on a price and it's based on the conditions. Now, 17% have changed their price somewhat recently, 379. And then there's obviously a good percentage of these that just canceled and relisted as a brand new listing and came back to the market. Now, a few more things I want to show you here is the number of bedrooms. Okay, so what actually existed of all this inventory, what's available? 118 bachelor units, 1,165 one-bedroom units, 746 two-bedroom units, 138 three-bedroom units, one four-bedroom, zero five-bedrooms, and a six-bedroom condo, which just so happens to be for sale for 36 
million dollars if you want to check out that listing. So here's how it's spread out. What's kind of interesting to that is I've actually seen more action on my two bedroom listings than I have on my one bedroom and one plus den listings. And I thought that was kind of interesting. It's kind of clear why now in the numbers because there's just more to choose from in the one bedroom and one plus den category. So what does this all mean? Well, what I basically just went over with you is a typical week for me. I'm having this conversation with condo sellers every single day, right? This is literally what I do for a living. And then we're having this conversation with our buyer clients as well to show them, hey, listen, here's what's going on. Here's the information that you need. I don't think you're going to see price growth in condos for the next 12 months. And to the end of this year, you're probably going to see prices drop off if these inventory levels remain and potentially we have a rate hike on October the 25th. But here's what I do know. I know if you're looking for a deal, go for a tenanted property. They're selling on average three to 4% lower than an owner occupied property. Okay. That's because you're taking on more risk when you're buying that type of property. Also, if you are willing to make five offers, make six offers, just test the market on properties that you like, give it a go. Who cares if you're insulting the seller in this market? If you're interested in putting something on paper and you have time and you have to move on something right away, this is the first time in a long, long time you hold the cards as a buyer in today's downtown condo market. And it should be clear that freehold properties are still kind of leaning in the seller's direction, but for condos, the buyers are currently holding the cards. I hope you found that video informative. I hope you learned something new today. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Tom Story, and remember, home is where your story begins.